On April 12, 1961, an unknown Soviet Air Force pilot launched into the history books. Yuri Gagarin became the first man in space. But there's a little known controversy surrounding the flight, namely that the Soviet Union falsified the official flight records. In 1905, the Fédération Aéronautique Internationale, or FAI, was established to manage all aviation records. By the 1950s, this had grown to include records in space. And by the end of the decade, when the Soviet Union and United States were vying to be the first to get a man in orbit, the FAI laid the ground rules for what would constitute a space flight. The FAI's ruling on spaceflight took its inspiration from aviation, in which a pilot has to land with his aircraft for the record to count. If the pilot has to eject and land by parachute, the flight is generally considered a failure. Why should spaceflight be any different? This was a problem for the Soviet Union, because the Vostok spacecraft didn't have a man-rated landing system. As we know, Yuri Gagarin ejected 23,000 feet above the ground and landed by parachute in a field near the border of Kazakhstan. But that's not what the Soviet Union told the FAI. The official record says that Yuri Gagarin landed with his Vostok 1 spacecraft in a field. Nobody questioned the validity of Gagarin's flight, not until German Titov followed Gagarin into orbit four months later. Titov, like Gagarin, ejected at the end of his mission and landed by parachute. And also, as in Gagarin's case, the Soviet Union presented records to the FAI saying that Titov landed with his spacecraft. But unlike Gagarin, Titov was a little more vocal, saying that he'd ejected and landed on his own. Titov's admission called into question the validity of Gagarin's flight and his record. The FAI held a special meeting to review both cosmonauts' flight records and to revisit the definition of what constitutes a space flight. In the end, no one was going to deny that either cosmonaut had been in space. Instead, the FAI revised its definition of space flight to focus on the payload. If a pilot, astronaut, or cosmonaut was in the spacecraft when it launched into orbit, it counted as a space flight. Gagarin's ejection from Vostok 1 and the subsequent falsification of his records. It happened on the way back from space. Are there any other Soviet mysteries you've heard about that you would like to know more about? Leave a comment below.